Good day everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to look at how to improve surface qualities. We're going to an analyze the the, surf, the mesh of these surfaces and look at ways to improve them. Um, I have a soft feature here of a few surfaces and we're going to have a look at that. Okay, so when you create your surfaces, you can edit the, the surface mesh. If you press this button here, it will create a surface, surface mesh edit. And to work with that, you can just go edit definition. So this is the first surface, surface mesh. Let's get it to the top view. Uh, this surface mesh could be improved. Uh, there's just some issue with um, the spacing of the mesh so the, the the spacing over here and over here doesn't match so um, it doesn't the surface isn't that uniform and not that smooth so there's ways to improve that the, a good surface would have all the the mesh points mesh control points Align and evenly space. So what the, what this means is um, the surface is not uniform. It's 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 smooth. It's but it could be improved further. So how I created this surface was drawing four curves individually, and I'll show you an um, improved version. So let's hide this one. So here's the improved version, and and I'll have a look at the surface mesh. So in this one, it is a lot better. If you have a look, all the spacing are more evenly distributed. So uh, this means that the the direction of of the surface this way it's more uniform. It's it's more clean so how I did that was actually copy the curves so I create this curve here and then I would just make a copy a go curve copy and move it to the left and just join the lines up and what that result in was a, a curve that matches the the center curve so there is a, a slight difference and this curve is actually more uniform with other curves so that helps to improve the surface so a good idea to build your surface is to just copy the curve and reuse them so here's another one you go edit copy instead of using the arc tool for the wheel arc uh, it's, it's a lot better to just copy the curve and reuse it on on, um, on the other side of the surface so this makes it a lot better a lot better to the curves are more evenly distributed and you have a lot more control if you create the curve yourself and make uh, edit the control points it's it's not going to be exactly similar to other one and the surface is not as uniform and smooth as you would like so as you can see the surface here when you copy the curves renews the curve it's it's a lot smoother so that's that's a very useful tip when you uh, you, you're gonna need to use that for all the surface of your car so it's a good idea good basic idea to to use for your car so I hope you like that tip everybody um, and have fun building your car model that's it for today. Um, see you later, everyone.